huku mswada wa fedha wa mwaka 2024 ukiendelea kuibua hisi ya mseto nchini kutokana na mapendekezo yaliyomo. Muungano wa Azimio sasa umejitokeza kupinga mswada huo ukisema kuwa unanuia kuongezea wa Kenya mzigo wa ushuru. Akizungumza jijini Nairobi wakati wa mkutano na wabunge wa muungano huo, Kalonzo Msioka amewarai wabunge wa Azimio kupinga mswada huo. Do you have to prepare yourselves to vote a big no. We know this finance uh, bill 2024 is receiving public participation and it happened the same way. Finance bill 2023 public participation over 93 90% of Kenyans in 98% said no. Then they went on to implement the very unfortunate taxes and now you know we went to the streets Serikali ya Kenya Kwanza imependekeza kuongezwa kwa ushuru kwa bidhaa muhimu swala ambalo limepingwa vikali The new taxes on motor vehicles will increase the cost of transportation So those are the sort of three big things The only dreams are how to make life even more difficult for Kenyans Which other areas can you impart some pain on Kenyans until you get to the, uh, the, 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 the place where you are thinking of imposing taxation on bread i think these people we must give it to them they really have depth when it comes to ways of hurting kenya every year with the increment of the taxes leads to serious increment of expenditures without an increment in income in the pockets of common wananchi right now the kenya kwanza government is introducing a tax on bread this nation can only be changed if there are demonstrations no negotiations the kenya kwanza government is coming up with the punitive taxes that affect the standard of living of our people azimio imetishia kuandaa maandamano endapo mswada huo utapitishwa bila ya kuzingatia maoni ya wakenya as a coalition we are ready to go back to the streets if that is what it takes and i hope you are bold enough I hope you are bold enough if they now go and 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 cause aggression again on public participation and there are professionals talking about this. Kuhusu ripoti ya mazungumzo ya kitaifa Nadco Azimio imewataka wabunge wapitishe ripoti hiyo jinsi ilivyo huku wakisema kuwa serikali ina nia ya kukiuka makubaliano yao. Tafadhali nawaomba umukieda kitanda kulala na hii watu ya KK there is no other hope left. The very true hope that is left is this video of Nadiko. Na wa Kenya wale ambao wako na imani ya kwamba kuna jambo lolote linaweza fanyika after this wanawaangalia. Mswada wa fedha ulifikishwa bungeni mwanzoni mwa mwezi huu huku serikali kipendekeza ushuru kwa bidhaa za kimsingi kama mkate, ushuru kwa huduma za kutumia na kupokea pesa kwa njia ya simu kama vile Mpesa na za kuhamisha fedha kutoka benki na vyama vya akiba na mikopo kutoka asilimia 15 hadi 20. Msimamo wa upinzani ni moja wapo tu ya hisia zinazoendelea kutolewa na Wakenya kuhusu mapendekezo ya bajeti ijayo ya mwaka 2024-2025. Brian Amwai K24. Nairobi.